Hello. In this video, we are going to prove the following theorem. For every non-zero real number x, the real number, which we call the reciprocal of x, uniquely satisfies the equation x times the reciprocal of x equals 1. Now, in this series, we are using a list of 10 axioms for the real number system. And I'll leave that list of axioms in the description of the video below. Now, let's first remind ourselves of the axiom that introduces this real number, which we call the reciprocal of x. We have axiom 7, which tells us for every non-zero real number x, there exists a real number, which we call the reciprocal of x, that satisfies the equation x times the reciprocal of x is equal to 1. Now, the whole point of this theorem is we want to show not only is the reciprocal of x a real number that satisfies this equation, but the reciprocal of x is the only real number that satisfies this equation. And to prove that, we're essentially trying to show if r is any real number such that x times r equals 1, then r must be equal to the reciprocal of x. So, how do we prove that? Well, we're going to be using a property that we proved regarding the real number system. And that property we proved was the cancellation law of multiplication. We proved for every three real numbers, a, b, and c, with a non-zero, if a, b is equal to a, c, then b is equal to c. Okay, so now let's get into proving this theorem. To start off the proof, since we're trying to prove a statement about every non-zero real number x, let's give ourselves an arbitrary non-zero real number x. From here, the whole goal is to show that the reciprocal of x is the only real number that satisfies this equation. Now, let's just first note by axiom 7 that the reciprocal of x is a real number that satisfies this equation. And to show that the reciprocal of x is the only real number that satisfies this equation, what we do is we suppose we have another real number that satisfies this equation. So let's suppose r is a real number that also satisfies x times r equals 1. From here, we want to show that the reciprocal of x is equal to r. Now, since x times the reciprocal of x is equal to 1 and xr is equal to 1, well, these two guys are both equal to the same thing. So they must be equal to each other. But then, we can apply the cancellation law of multiplication since x is a non-zero real number. So applying the cancellation law of multiplication, we can take this equation and cancel out the x's. So we're left with the reciprocal of x is equal to r. And so this shows that the reciprocal of x is the only real number that satisfies this equation. And so this completes the proof. And so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video.